weird. As we inch closer and closer to the November election, that is the new word the Democrats are harnessing when describing former President Donald Trump and his running mate, J.D. Vance. Weirdly enough, weird is the word of the moment in this election cycle. Take a listen to what Representative Val Hoyle had to say about weird. This is not like the elections or politics that I had when I was growing up. It is weird. It is weird many of the things that we're talking about. What I have, what I have heard over and over and what I feel in my heart is that people want us to get back to normal. Right? We want normal, we want boring, we want less of the polarization, we want less of the insults, we want to have government do what it needs to do, allow people to have the freedom to be successful and, and thrive in their communities, and um, I'm, I'm all for team normal and stopping the weird. Representative Hoyle also noted that one of the first people to coin this term weird in the upcoming election is the now Democratic vice presidential pick, Tim Walz. Multiple Democrats tagging in, saying Americans don't want weird. Take a listen to what Senator Ron Wyden had to say about it all. What I can tell you is my mom used to say, if the shoe fits, wear it. And you got J.D. Vance talking about childless cat ladies. You got Donald Trump just being obsessed with his crowd sizes. That's pretty weird to me. Communication analysts point out that labeling someone as weird often leads to the opponent sharing an off-balance response. Former President Donald Trump has spent time trying to reverse the script by calling Harris weird. And Donald Trump's campaign is blaming Iran after a number of its internal emails were hacked. A campaign spokesperson yesterday confirmed the breach, citing only a recent Microsoft report that found Iranian hackers had accessed the email account of a, quote, high-ranking official of the campaign. The disclosure comes in response to the news site Politico, which said it had received anonymous emails containing documents from the Trump campaign. Now, this includes various internal communications, as well as documents on Trump's running mate, J.D. Vance.